Well, parts keep coming off of this thing uh, as I head toward what's more than likely a, a well-deserved overhaul. But uh, so a little, uh, taking a peek through uh, where the reed valves are and uh, take a look at the piston. So I am, let's see if we can see my hand at the same time. So you can see I'm not, seems like I'm turning the crankshaft a little bit more than the resulting uh, play or movement in the piston. So personally, I think uh, we've just got a lot of slop in the connecting rod, whether it's the wrist pin or down at the, uh, the crank itself. So I got the piston, or I got the spark plug out. So you can hear that noise. The plug itself doesn't look, let's say, damaged or scarred. But where we find that noise, I believe, let me see if I can get, I know I can get my fingers in there, but. Basically, I've got side to side play in that uh, connecting rod. Sorry, I can't get you a good picture of that, but hang on just a second. But anyway, I've, uh, I can't get you into focus. So I can't really see down in there yet, but. So if I just stick my finger in here and look, if you listen, that's side to side play in the connecting rod. Definitely up at the uh, wrist pin. I can't tell if it's also down at the connecting rod or not, but I'm pretty sure the bearings uh, uh, on that connecting rod and or the bearing openings on the connecting rod are just worn out. So if I got side to side like that, that's probably the reason we also probably have this up and down noise up and down movement or noise created in the, in the up and down uh, motion. So I think uh, I think we're gonna crack this thing open and uh, it's probably gonna get uh, probably a complete overhaul. Uh, I don't know if that entails can entail uh, boring it out, uh, oversized piston, or uh, let me phrase it this way: uh, if you were to have it all apart, what would you do? Would you uh, try to boost the power and performance in some way or, or just get it back to stock. So the project continues. Thanks for any input you can offer.